Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we're going to talk about a feature that's quite cool in iOS 7, unavailable in other versions of iOS. How many times have you turned on your iPhone, your iPad or your iPod Touch to see that the App Store has this little red number telling you there are updates to apps and it's going to tell you this 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 15, 20, the more you have apps the more you'll have every day notification of apps that have updates. Now, in iOS 7, they've added what I think is a great feature. It's automatic app updates. That means that instead of having to click on the app icon, having to go to update and click that update all button. Uh, that was annoying a lot of people actually, and uh, including me. After a certain time, you know when you have one app that updates every three, four, five days, not too bad. But you install a few tens or maybe hundreds of apps. You know you notice that now you have you know dozens of app updates every day, and it really, really is an annoying thing. So now if you want to put your apps, it actually asks you the first time you open the app store, but maybe you missed it, maybe you said no, you didn't know what it was. If you still add that little number on your app store for updates, you can change that and make it automatic. You just go to your settings and you go to the section that says iTunes and App Store and there go down and you'll see automatic downloads and there's a section it says music, apps, books, updates. So that means that now if you put the updates at on, all of the updates will do themselves automatically without not even, not even ask you. Uh, by default, you see at the bottom it says use cellular data and it's off. That means that it does not update your apps on uh, your cell data plan if this thing is turned off. So it means that it's going to wait for you to be on a Wi-Fi. And once you're on a Wi-Fi, it's going to check for the updates, it's going to download them and install them for you. So being on a Wi-Fi uh, means that you, know, you won't have to... Uh, get these extra charges in case of if you have a low data plan here in Canada data plans are horrible uh, basically people have one gigabyte or not even some I have 500 megabytes uh, which is extremely cheap uh, 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 honestly I don't understand why we're at such a low uh, data plans here for you know exorbitant prices I've got six gigabyte data plan and my six gigabyte data plan is like thirty dollars, which is not expensive compared to a lot of people that have a six gigabyte data plan that costs them fifty, sixty, or seventy bucks. Um, in the United States, I know that a lot of you users out there have data plans that are, you know, fifty, hundred, two hundred megabytes, uh, gigabytes, sorry, or even some have unlimited, which is quite cool. So if you have a low data plan. Uh, I suggest that you keep that little slider use data, cellular data off. If you have more or you have unlimited, then you can actually turn it on, which means that if you slide it on, it means that any apps, any books update, if you have magazines that you are subscribed to, uh, newspapers, updates from the app store uh, and the music stuff, then you will have cellular data that's going to be used also to update your apps. So, uh, depending on your plan, be careful if you turn it on or off. Uh, I prefer to turn it off because I connect quite often to my Wi-Fi network when I try to do uh, stuff or sometimes watch uh, videos so as not to uh, use too much of my 6 gigabytes uh, because I use it a lot on the road. So, when I'm at home, I'll some, quite often turn on Wi-Fi. So, um, if you don't want to go over your data plan, be careful with that. So this is where you go. 
settings uh, for the iTunes and App Store and uh, hey turn on the updates for the App Store at the bottom there it's really really gonna make your life easier since then I've had no more little numbers on my App Store because all apps are updating themselves automatically which is quite quite cool and actually I haven't noticed anything so it really really does it in a very quiet way probably in the times that you're actually not using your phone or your iPad or iPod touch it sees that you're not there so it takes that time to update everything else which is pretty cool so that's it for automatic app updates and it's a really really great feature because now no more annoying little number on that app store which is quite nice if you enjoy our videos please subscribe to our channel and um, if you have any comments questions let us know uh, by subscribing you'll know when new videos are online we try to put videos every week uh, I try to keep a, a balance of about 10 videos a week uh, it's a little hard because I have multiple channels on YouTube and I try to keep that 10 video a week on each channel uh, unfortunately I work to uh, win uh, to get that money so that I can do all of these stuff so uh, I try to do at least 10 every week sometimes I might be a little short on time and do a little less but I try to really keep it at every week and uh, hey, if you have that app that you want us to review paid or free if you have that video of some kind of feature you want, you want us to talk about let us know and we'll try to put a video online uh, we'll be happy and you'll be helping others basically if you uh, are looking for an app that you'd like us to talk about a lot of people are probably uh, having that same app and they want to see what it does and is it worth it and uh, hope that you come back to the iPad Apps First Look channel. Bye-bye.